Hello, my fellow gamers, Gamer 64 here, and today I've got a brand new episode of Atari Gameplay for you guys. This time, we are going to be playing E.T. the Extraterrestrial on the Atari 2600. This game is considered to be one of the worst games of all time. Um, this game was developed over... Uh, what was the time span? I want to say it was like a few weeks. Like three, four, five weeks, I believe. And as you guys can see, it came out awful. Um, you play as E.T. and you fall down in pits to collect different items that you use to summon your ship or phone home, I guess. Um, in the different like sections, there are the Reese's Pieces and... Uh, you basically have a certain amount of space that you can walk. And it's very, very, very strange, to say the least. Um, in the game, there are enemies, actually. There is, like, a scientist guy that will take you away to, like, ah, a secret lab or something. Um, there's a guy that will take all your items. Um, all that kind of different stuff. So, very, very strange. Aw, oh, you suck. He took all my frickin'... He took all my phone pieces. We found the place where we can call Elliot, though. Or the ship, I guess. Yeah, that's the area where you call the ship if you have all the phone pieces. That's very helpful, I guess, if we could ever get the phone pieces. I highly doubt that we will. <laughs> ah! No! I don't like you. I don't like that. Ah! Ah! We fell down in a hole. As you can see at the bottom, there is your, um, like, walking distance, I guess. That counts for how long you can walk, how much you can float. Heck with you! Let me go! This guy sucks. He, like, takes you to this facility that, le that makes my camera, f like, have a seizure. That's not good. No! Leave me alone! Not like I have anything for you to take anyways, but whatever. Yeah, the, um, the main reason why this game kind of failed and flopped is because, like, say you fall down into a pit, you can potentially just keep falling back down into that same pit if you don't hover, like, above it. If any part of your body touches the pit, then you're gonna fall into it. And that's no fun. So you want to be able to glide out of the pit and, like, away from it. So that can get annoying at some points. And um, the enemies are very unforgiving. They are much faster than you, so you have to, like, book it. Like I said, you have to book it to be able to get away from these scientist guys. And the entire game just trying to collect your foam pieces and figure out where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do. It's just really, really annoying and cumbersome. And back when this game came out, people tended to throw away manuals. So, uh, no, not you! Heck with you. He didn't take the... No. Heck, no, I don't like him. Ah, no. No! Ah! Okay. Well, we have two phone pieces now. I mean, we're gonna run out of running distance and, like, power or whatever the bottom number is, but... Whatever. Stop it! Oh, my goodness. Yep, we're dead. Oh. Okay. Elliot came and saved us, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. I don't actually know all of... If I could stay out of the hole, that would be very helpful. And then move off to the side. No. No! I will not. Elliot, save me. Okay, so I guess if you always have Reese's Pieces, then Elliot will always come to save his little alien friend. I don't know what that does. It's a little circle. All my Reese's Pieces are gone. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck, man? <laughs> Get up there. 
Nah. This game actually contains um, one of the first Easter eggs ever in video games. Um, it contains a an Easter egg to Yar's Revenge. I have no idea how to access it or, like, activate it, but it's in there. It is a thing. No! I don't want to be captured by you! I can't even find all the foam pieces because you guys are bothering me. Heck, I can't even get out of these pits. Look at that. E.T. can, like, fast jog speed run kind of thing. Alright, let now you s Elliot save me again. <laughs> yeah, apparently if you have Reese's Pieces, Elliot will just come and save you every time. So the Reese's Pieces are kind of like a continue in a way. That's kind of cool. He took all my foam pieces, and he scattered them back in these pits. Uh, I clicked the button before I collected the foam piece, so now I just have to fall back down in the pit, and then collect the foam piece and fly back up. And why can E.T. fly like this? He can't fly in the movie. I mean, granted, he makes that bike fly, but he didn't fly himself. Oh. Uh-oh-oh. Oh. oh. Well, I died. So. That's a thing. I think that's the spot where you call home from. I'm pretty sure. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Well, that's a problem. We're getting taken back to the glitchy blue screen of death. I'm gonna try and find all the foam pieces. Oh, there's one already. Nice. I don't know why I'm trying to beat E.T. I mean, nothing's gonna happen if I do beat it. I mean, I'll have the satisfaction to say that I beat E.T., but... I don't think that's something that you really want to say around other gamers that you play E.T. the Extraterrestrial on Atari. I don't think that's really something that you want to say. This game is shunned in the gaming world. But, oh, look at this. I'm screwed. Oh, no, I'm not. How can you just walk over the pits? That's not fair. Luckily, he can't capture you, though, when you're flying, so that's good. Ah! See, I'm falling in pits just to get away from this guy, but it's not doing anything. Like, it's not helping. There we go. Ah, oh, no. See, you can't get away from these guys. They're everywhere. They're just relentless. So you just gotta keep running and hoping to God that you can escape. I mean, you can use E.T.'s, like, extraordinary running ability kind of thing when you push the button on the Atari controller, but that doesn't work half the time either! I want to see Atari, or E.T. do a fast run. I want to see it happen. Look at his tumpy little body run! <laughs> oh, E.T. is funny. Whee! So that uses a lot more um, energy, though. So that must be to only escape the guy. Oh, there we go. We're back in a pit. Perfect. Elliot, help us. Help E.T. phone home. Well, we got a piece of the phone again. See, apparently I can only collect, like, one or two before I just die. Back up to the top. Try to get out of the pit. No! Heck with you! Well, at least this guy doesn't take our phone pieces. I mean, that's always good. But he does. Ah, he does. Alright, now let's get out of that pit. Click the Reese's pieces and go. Ah, E.T. See, where are the other phone pieces at? I've been in every pit in this game. I can't find them. Okay, let's go down. No! Why? This guy's annoying. Well, this is our life, stuck in a pit. Uh, anyways, guys, I think this is going to be the end of the episode and the end of E.T. the Extraterrestrial. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a giant like. And remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.